my name is Bradley Hall. I'm the uh, number one bobsleigh pilot for Great Britain. Uh, I've been to two Winter Olympic Games and um, yeah, currently doing pretty well. I think that the, for the most part it's, it's about self-improvement, it's, it's seeing how far you can push yourself and see, see how well you can do and then once you realise you, you find a sport that, that, you're, that you're good at, you want to see it, how, how good you can be compared to other people, so you want to you try and get to the best in the world, that, that's my motivation anyway and uh, for me if I, if I do that by, by doping then that kind of takes away takes away the achievement is this is something that I've used something to assist my performance and yeah that that's that means that I didn't I didn't earn that it, it takes a lot away it's a, it's, it's not just um, the the recognition of of a, of a performance so uh, finishing one two three places higher or anything like that is it can be financial like uh, a lot of people can miss out on funding uh, from their national federations because they didn't get a result or personal funding sponsorships there's a, there's so much that can uh, people can miss out from so um yeah um, it happened to our um bobsleigh team back in 2014 uh, they were ranked fifth and they they got promoted up to third place after two russian sleds were taken out so um they, they missed out on a on a huge amount so it's it's you can never underestimate the impact that um that doping has on on other people in the sport If I'm doing something that's that's against the rules in terms of anti-doping, that's I, I don't deserve it. I'm effectively stealing from someone else, and that's something I, I wouldn't do that in a shop. I wouldn't steal from someone else's car or anything else. So why would you steal a, a performance from someone else, which other people have worked so hard to get? So you, you've got to be uh, you, you've got to be truthful and honest uh, about wh what what you do and to, to achieve that performance. And I, yeah, I, I, it's something I can never do. Yeah, so when, when you first start off in elite sport, you'll, you'll find a lot of information about anti-doping. So the first thing is to actually uh, take, take, uh, pay attention and listen to that because there's, there's a lot of information in there, but you need it because you, there's one little slip up or one little mistake. And then that could be your, your reputation and, and your, your career that's, that's finished or has a massive, uh, massive dent in it. So there's, there's a lot of information. Find help from your national federations or from WADA, from, from myself as UK Anti-Doping. And uh, yeah, try, and, try to get as much help and support. Speak to other athletes that have been in the sport for, for a long time. They, they, can, they usually have a lot of knowledge as well and they'll be more than happy to help. Thank you.